Before Democrats condemn the coup in Gabon, they should tell the world if succession to presidency is by bet or competition by Azik Asabo. Exactly. So before anybody condemn the coup in Gabon, both ECOWAS, both uh, uh, African Union, AU, both the Europe and Americas and Canada and British, before anybody condemn the coup in Gabon, let them answer this question. Okay, transition from regime to regime, from presidency to presidency. Is it by family birthright or by election and you know election contest? Let's be frank. Because what happened in Gabon is not right. Okay, from Omar Bongo to his son Ali Bongo. And the family has held on for almost 54 years in Gabon. How? And you call that democracy? You call that a, a democratic system? Ah, it's not democratic. That is civilian dictatorship, like somebody called it. That is dictatorial. You cannot put yourself in power and you are tired or you're dead, you are living, and you put your son there. And then your son will see that. Is it monarchical system of government? I know that it's only monarchical system of government that's hereditary or communism system of government, but not democratic system of government that is supposed to allow a tenor and after a tenor another election is conducted for another person that winner that wins to be and to be there as president so that is the question somebody is asking here before you uh condemn the coup in gabon okay is presidency succession by bet or by electoral con con context that is a big question Without being in support of the of the perpetuation of coup in African continent, okay, there is no denying the fact that whenever a coup d'état occur in any African country, that not a few self-acclaimed Democrats resort to running their mouth in condemnation of the undemocratic takeover of government. Unfortunately, while the basis for the condemnation is always candid crystal clear and convincing the point remains that democrats often miss the point by not taking a cognizance of the fact that coup in the continent are often necessitated by fraudulent electoral processes abuse of term limit legitimacy performance and accountability in political and economic governance in fact whoever makes any attempt to justify would tongue it in okay will tongue in check be told that the worst democratic government is better than the best military government given the foregoing book backdrop there is no denying the fact that the wind of coup that is sweeping across the african continent coupled with the associated diplomatic impasse foretells grave consequences of continued military incursion into the political arena in the west africa sub-region the undemocratic trend clearly demonstrates the fact that both the African Union and the Community Committee of West African State ECOWAS are faced with big, frightening challenges ahead, considering the complexities of military coups, which are better prevented through commitment to the deepening of democracies within the continent. Opinionating in this context from the perspective of the coup that occurred in Gabon on Tuesday, August 29, 2023, it is expedient to urge both ECOWAS and AU to synergistically move to sanction leaders perpetrating seeming monarchical government in African political culture. Exactly. Those people that have turned their presidential offices to hereditary, handed over to their generation, should be cautioned first. That is it. They should be sanctioned first. Without any iota of exaggeration, it is expedient to opine that the time has come for both uh, supernatural, okay, supranational bodies, okay, to discourage the political culture that allows succession to presidency by virtue of bet rather than by competition. To buttress the foregoing view, a peep into succession politics across Africa, African countries will reveal that the incumbent president of Togo, uh, Faure Nasingbe, the president um, who became president of Togo in 2005, 
after succeeding his late father, okay, Nasimbe Ayademas. Can you imagine? Re-elected re in 2010, 2015, and 2020. Hmm? He became hard ruled the country since 1967. That the Ayademas of Togo, Nasimbe Ayadema. Though it can be argued that political dynasties exist around the world, but that that should not justify its entrenchment or perpetuation in Africa. For instance, in the United States in 2001, George W. Bush became the best, the first president or modern president whose father, President W. Uh, w. Bush, had also been elected president. The sixth president, John Quincy Adams, served from 1825 to 1829 and was the son of the second president john adams bush also became the first u.s president to hold this position for longer than his father in east and south africa there have been many daughters of heads of state who have been elected to the same position such as south korea president park gun hein former philippine president corazon aquino and former Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi in Pakistan, in a rare occurrence, a husband took over from his wife, Ben Benazir Bhutto, at this juncture. It is expedient to advise that Africans should be cautious of characterizing political dynasties as an African phenomenon. However, given the vastly male-dominated world of African politics, what do we know about African father-son presidential transitions and legacies? Despite the foregoing abnormalities being experienced in the U.S., the Philippines, and South Korea, there is no political justification for such mode of succession to the presidency to be replicated in African countries, particularly as obtained in Gabon and which was linked to the principal cause of the push that occurred in the early morning of today. Now, the reason for the foregoing cannot be far-fetched as Africans are averse to such succession plan and are not willing to cede the presidency to any given family. Rather, they yearn for a president to emerge through a contested process and uh, a contested uh, process and based on individual's merit and not to elect family members or former heads of state. Hmm. This is a serious one. So finally, it is expedient to advise that before Democrats condemn the coup in Gabon, that they should tell the world if succession to presidency is by bet or by competition. Good question. And somebody is saying Gabon coup leader and dethroned president are cousins. What a hell of family business. They really need to manage that as well. The persons condemning the coup, how did they get to power? It is like killing a whole community and telling another that insult is worse than killing. Yeah? Those saying the worst democracy government is better than military government are all criminals because the military are more disciplined than bloody civilian. Okay, civilian government. You know steady and stable democracies world over observations reveal the military to be the backbone of their success and good governance but here in africa due to criminal mind leaders okay criminal minded leaders um, democracy is seen as an avenue to enslave fellow citizens into poverty and disenfranchisement which is very bad there are a few more comments here which time now time may not permit me to show but the fact remains here that you should not just openly condemn coup in africa now that is raging without first of all asking how come the coup what is leading to the coup what uh, to the coup what is the cause what is the driver exactly and uh, for me the coups are taking place to effect the change that democratic process could not effect simple so thank you for listening and let's have your comment in this session.